A new vaccine against malaria is reducing the chances of contracting the disease by half. That's the initial findings of a trial involving young children in Africa. Our health correspondent Thomas Moore has the details. Malaria kills one African child every 45 seconds. But now, for the first time, scientists believe they have a vaccine that could dramatically reduce cases of the mosquito-borne disease. A new trial of the RTSS vaccine shows that it halves the rate of severe malaria. Not total protection, but enough to save hundreds of thousands of lives across the continent. You wouldn't use this vaccine to protect yourself on a holiday in Africa for two weeks. But as a, a, as a public health measure in a place where many children get uh, severe malaria and, and may be at risk of death, uh, it really does um, uh, look like possibly a very, very important tool. In 2009, malaria killed 781,000 people. 85% of those who died were children under the age of five, the majority in sub-Saharan Africa. This new vaccine reduces the number of severe malaria cases by 47%. The Microsoft boss Bill Gates largely bankrolled the trial. Speaking at a malaria conference in Seattle, he welcomed the results. Uh, the results uh, being made available today do represent a huge milestone. If RTSS uh, continues to show a long-term effect, then it has the potential to protect millions of children and save thousands of lives. Manufacturer GlaxoSmithKline says it will sell the vaccine at 5% above cost price, far less than the normal profit margin for a new medicine. We cannot ever allow ourselves to slip into only being able to develop drugs and vaccines for the very rich. It would make absolutely no sense at all, and society would not applaud that at any level. Scientists are now studying whether a booster dose improves the vaccine's effect, but they are increasingly confident that they can finally reduce the impact of Africa's biggest killer. Thomas Moore, Sky News.